I don't know who needs to hear this message, but I believe this for most of my entire life. And it literally made me the most lazy, unmotivated, uh, dumb, talentless person who actually had a lot of talent, but almost wasted it. I grew up thinking, hey, Mark, you know, when you feel motivated, when you get that hit of motivation, like a lightning strike, you get up and you do that thing that you're motivated to do. And what's interesting is that if you're motivated, that's great. But here's the thing. I've done plenty of things in my life without being motivated. I have accomplished so many successes, achievements, both personally and professionally, while I was unmotivated. And this is the truth. Motivation is actually a lie that was created by some of the most successful people to stop people from becoming successful like them. Really, I'm, I'm not joking here. What I'm trying to say is imagine if you told people for one second, hey, um, you know that business you want to start? Hey, you want, you know, you know that diet that you want to go on so you can finally be healthy? Oh, well, guess what? You can only do that if you're motivated. So what happens? Someone is living their life. They have these ideas. Oh, I should start that business. Oh, I should go on that diet. Oh, I should start meditating. Oh, I should, you know, do these things that we know we should be doing. And then you sit down and then you open your phone. And then you're like, am I really motivated to do this? And what's going to happen? You're not going to feel motivation. Your body and brain is trying to get you to do nothing by sitting down on your phone and scrolling. And it's convinced you that the only way that you can get up and do what you need to do is if you feel this mysterious, you know, spirit of motivation pass through you and, and, and you have no control over it. So what happens? Guys, girls, they literally spend their entire life waiting and waiting. And then maybe they are in the car and they feel motivated and they think and they get inspired and they think and they get inspired and then they get out of the car, they go back home and then they, they're they hungry. They are tired. They don't feel motivated anymore. So then they don't do the thing that they wanted to do. So what's the solution for this? What's the antidote? I wish somebody told me this when I was younger. This is the antidote. Stop living from your feelings. As a mental health advocate, everyone says, oh, you know, what, what are you feeling? Uh, you know, pay attention to your emotions. Oh, your emotions are so important. Oh, you should let yourself feel and feel and feel. And listen, I'm not, I'm not saying to suppress your emotions. I'm not saying to, you know, act like a stone and, and, you know, pretend you're not human. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is this. There comes a time, especially like as a man, I'm a man. I don't, my only experience of life is living as a man. I don't know what it's like to be a woman. But as a man, there comes a time where it doesn't matter what you feel. You get up and you do the thing regardless. At 6 a.m. when I wake up and I make my protein shake and I eat my breakfast and I meditate and I journal and then I get ready and I go to the gym for an hour and I work out, there are days where I wake up and I don't feel like doing any of that. But what I have learned to do is actually not even ask myself if I feel like doing it or not. Me feeling to do it is, is literally has nothing to do with what I'm going to do. And so literally motivation is a lie that keeps you dependent on your emotions and your feelings, which then literally stops you from taking action. And this is the thing that nobody tells you. Even if you don't feel like going to the gym, for example, but you ignore your emotions, you put one foot in front of the other, you put on those shoes, you walk, you drive, you go to the gym and you're 45 minutes into your workout, what's going to happen? All of a sudden, you're going to feel good emotions. All of a sudden, you're going to feel motivated. 
And so what happens is that motivation, it kicks in after. It doesn't kick in before. That's the biggest lie. You shouldn't wait to be motivated. Do whatever it is you got to do, regardless of how you feel. And then while you're doing it or after you do it towards the end of the day, then you will feel motivated. And then that burst of motivation, that's going to get you going on this cycle. That's going to get you going to where you're doing everything you need to be doing, even if you don't feel like, even if you're not motivated. And that will literally give you unlimited motivation. It's like a very reverse paradoxical concept. But this idea, if you take it and you apply it to a diet, to starting a business, to starting a new healthy habit, whatever it is, you will be successful. But they honestly don't want you to know this because if you do, you're going to be motivated like the rest of them and be successful just like the other successful people. I'm here to break that and tell you guys it's a myth. It is a secret that has got to be exposed. And so if you enjoyed this, if you like it, let me know what you think. Share this with a friend. Share this information. Don't hide it. Let me know what you think. If you are interested in watching my other videos on mental health, nutrition, food, brain health, feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. This has been Mark Matry.